In our first AI scripting inside Blender tutorial, we created a simple sphere and told it to move up and down on the z-axis. And we, we accomplished that with just one minor error. But let's keep going with that. Let's make it a little bit more interesting and see what we can get the chat GPT to create from OpenAI. So I'm, I'm going back to my original. And isn't that nice that OpenAI saves each of your projects that you're doing. So I've got my original here and I'm just going to tell it to add nine more spheres. So it went through and ran it. I, I went ahead and did this beforehand so we didn't have to wait on it to generate. And the code has changed a little bit. It still has the same error in it, but let's get that copied over to our program and see what happens as, as we're going. So back to our scripting. Um, I'm going to tell it to get rid of all of this. And we'll just simply tell it to start up fresh, almost fresh. We still need the render. Okay. I did notice it's taking a slightly different approach this time in that we're using a function to create the each individual sphere. And then in the third section, it is just simply calling that and placing it at a random location inside the environment on the X, Y, and Z axis, which was an interesting approach almost done and it is still moving them up and down in the program uh-oh it did not finish the code here so let's go ahead and f hmm that's interesting let's see if we can regenerate the response and get the entire code this time okay on our regenerated response we got a completely different methodology um, it's no longer using a function to create the system actually this one is a lot more straightforward so let's go ahead and put that in which is always good to remember if at first you're not happy with the code or the example given to you by the software tell it to do it again that's what I tell my students okay there we go uh, we'll fix the er known error replacing size with radius and see what happens and we're getting a few errors on this Okay, it, it didn't actually, there were no errors in it, but we do have this problem. They're up creating all the spheres in the exact same location. So when the animation runs, nothing's going to happen. So this is not a valid script. Um, it, it's not going to do the job that we want it to do. So let's try one more time with this, tell it to regenerate our response, and see if we get a better script this time. Okay, this time I ran the, the program. Um, I ran into the limit for how many characters it'll put out, so it did not actually finish putting out the eighth and the ninth sphere, so I went in and just hand-coded that in. Again, I had to fix the problem with it saying that the size was, it, it was trying to pass a size parameter instead of a, a radius parameter. That's now fixed. Um, I went ahead and added in the last two spheres and added in the line telling it to animate the render. So let's go to layout and tell it to play. And as you can now see, we now have nine different spheres hopping up and down inside the environment. Uh, some one of, or two of them in the same place. Each one gradually gets larger. So little bit of fun there. So hey, we're, we're making progress with getting our animations working. Uh, we're learning about the chat GPT system. Continue like and subscribe to keep learning more. Make sure you hit that like button to say thank you for creating this tutorial.